You've probably heard that real estate is one of the best investments you can make, right? It's like the golden ticket to building wealth and getting financial and time freedom. But here's the kicker. Over 90% of real estate investors fail. Yeah, you heard that right. 90%. Now, you're probably wondering, Matt, how is that number so high and how do I not become another statistic? Well, in today's video, we're going to dive into the most common pitfalls that most real estate investors make. And most importantly, I'll be sharing all the strategies to make sure you don't do that as well as the mindset needed to actually become successful with real estate investing. Now, if you don't know me, I'm a real estate investor who's bought over 150 properties and I have 15 employees right now in my real estate investing business. Now, with that being said, grab your coffee, grab some snacks and absolutely obliterate that subscribe button so you're in the know with my daily videos. Now, let's get into it. So number one, the biggest mistake I see investors making right off the hop is not specializing in a niche and specializing in one town. See, at the beginning, you're gonna be overwhelmed and everybody's gonna try and pull you in a bunch of different directions and say, you should invest here, you should invest here, you should buy this property. No, 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 you should buy this property. And this is where so many real estate investors get lost because at the beginning, when you're trying something new, you're just in information overload mode. You're trying to soak up information on this and on this and on this so you don't don't make mistakes, but the reality is you're doing a whole lot of nothing. You're just running on a treadmill thinking you're a real estate investor, but in reality, you're wasting everybody's time. And most importantly, you're wasting your time. Now for being in the real estate industry for this long, being a realtor specializing with real estate investors, and now a real estate investing coach helping so many people, I see this all the time where people think they're getting ahead. They think they're a real estate investor. They're looking on realtor.com every single day, looking at listings, messaging realtors. Dude, you're doing nothing. You're wasting everybody's time. That's because you're in information overload mode. What you should be doing is picking one niche specifically that's gonna get you to your goal. So for example, what kind of real estate do you wanna invest in? Let's figure that out first and foremost. Do you want something easy, a type of real estate that's very, very easy, but the cash flow is gonna be a little lower? This would be single family investing, and it's my chosen favorite niche, because I want the less stress possible, and I also want the highest quality tenant I can get, and even though the property's only cash flow maybe 100 bucks, 200 bucks, 300 bucks a month, oh well, it's a quality piece of real estate that's gonna appreciate faster than any other niche we're gonna talk about, has the highest quality tenant, families, who stay there, put their roots down deep, they have kids, they go to school, they have the cat, the dog, they typically stay like five, six, seven years, years before turning over, that sounds good to me. Or do you want a type of real estate that's really more focused on business principles, might have lower quality tenant, but cash flows a lot more. This is multifamily investing, big buildings. And it's really one of the fastest ways to get super, super wealthy. Think of Grant Cardone, for example. He's buying these giant, giant buildings with 50 tenants, 100 tenants, or even as small as six tenants, eight tenants per building. But for me personally, I don't really like it because it attracts a low quality tenant. Think of your scrub tenant in most cases. Now, obviously, if you're buying big, rich buildings like Grant Cardone on my Miami Beach, that's attracting a whole different clientele. But typically, most people are buying multifamily buildings like a sixplex, an eightplex, a 12plex, just outside of the city center or whatever. These typically attract scrub tenants. I'll just be straight up. I mean, if the rent is a thousand bucks a month, 1100 bucks a month, who do you think you're going to be attracting to these type of rentals? It's typically young couples or single people. They stay a year or two, maybe three years, and they move on and on and on. Or on the other end, you have people that never friggin' leave. So if you're in a rent controlled state or area, whew, you're gonna take a beating. Or do you like student rentals? Same kind of thing, you got the lowest quality tenant, kind of, but the highest cash flow. These properties produce so much cash flow. So really think about everything I said and what type of real estate you're looking to get into, not for just today or for the amount of money you want. What do you want your life to look like? What do you want to end up owning and having? Because some of them come with a lot of problems and a lot of questions. Even if you have a property manager you know, taking care of all the properties, who do you think the property manager is coming to when they have a problem? You. So they need you to answer all the questions versus maybe like a single family property, even though you're going to hire a property manager because that's what sophisticated investors do. There's going to be a lot less questions, a lot less things are, are going to be going on and breaking, etc. Now, after choosing what niche you want to specialize in, what 
area do you want to focus on? And again, this is something people don't understand because they just get star-eyed and they're trying to buy here and over there and three hours up north over there or over there. This is madness. And I see so many real estate investors doing this. And again, their wheels are spinning. They have to learn you know, these neighborhoods and these neighborhoods and where to buy over here. And eventually you will do that. Eventually you will invest in multiple areas and be a savvy real estate investor. But at the beginning, it's really best to pick one town absolutely own it, know everything about every neighborhood, what the properties are going to sell for, how much renovation it's going to take and how much it's going to be worth after, how much it's going to rent for. You need to know all these things in your head without having to rely on a realtor. That's the point I want you to get to when it comes to specializing in one area. Now, this is all super important because it leads to my second point, which is networking or branding. See, what most real estate investors do or think is that they need to go to all these real estate conferences and meet other investors, shake their hand, tell them about their shitty pitch or their financial breakdown they just did on this property to try and get money partners. Because see, eventually, you're gonna run out of your own money and you're gonna need other people's money to invest with you to continue buying more real estate. That's naturally what's gonna happen. But if you're out there at some conference trying to get money from other broke investors who are also at the same conference trying to find other broke investors to get money to, you can see how that's gonna lead to a bunch of nowhere. So what I'd rather see you do, which is what I do, is focus a lot on branding with social media and online marketing. See, when I started off investing in 2012 in my local area of Kitchener Waterloo, which is one hour south of Toronto, that's all I focused on was single family investing in Kitchener Waterloo. And I made so many videos and so much content. I wrote books on it, believe it or not, about investing in single family properties in Kitchener Waterloo. That's all I did. I didn't care about properties in neighboring towns. I didn't care about multifamily properties in Kitchener Waterloo. I didn't care. Single family only. That was me. I am the expert. If you want anything to do with single family investing in this town, I'm the dude. And that helped build my realtor business so much, but more importantly, it helped build my real estate investing business. Cause see, a lot of people are gonna watch your content on social media, on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, et cetera. And when you keep pumping out about how, for example, you're the multifamily expert in Atlanta, Georgia, for example, you're gonna get people watching your videos, reading your blogs, whatever, and eventually they're gonna start coming to you and say, man, you know a lot about Atlanta, Georgia. You know a lot about multifamily investing. I really want to start investing in real estate, but it's just too much. I have kids. I have a career. I'm too busy. I'd rather invest with you. How do I invest with you? Which is going to happen. Trust me. The more you start making videos, oh my God, your whole life is going to change. Your business is going to change. I'm telling you, I'm not exaggerating because that's exactly what happened to me. The more I marketed, the more videos I made about my local area, I got so many partners. I bought two properties, four properties, eight properties. I was like, this is, this is insane. I was getting daily messages about investing in my local area with me, and that's how I bought 150 properties with none of my own money. So if you wanna take this to the next level and really, really learn this, check out my course in the description called Unlimited Cash. That is where I teach you everything about online marketing, how to post, what to say specifically in your post, because there's a lot of psychology we're doing with these posts on what to say, how to push the right buttons without pissing too many people off, but you're gonna piss people off because that's just how it is, and how to get people to contact you, how to do a JV, how to buy with them. Everything you need to know in that course is right below in Unlimited Cash. I highly urge you check that out if you truly want to scale this thing because so many investors are doing the 1990s thing of going to conferences, shaking hands, doing one-to-one -one conversations. That's dumb. In a world of the internet, that's why I make these videos. I know you think I make these videos maybe just for you and it's cool. I'm glad you're a subscriber and you love these videos, but I truly make videos just like this. This video right now is building my brand. It's for the purpose of getting my name out there. People watching be like, dang, this dude knows exactly what he's talking about. They message me usually on Instagram in the DMs and we have a conversation from there and they end up partnering with me or lending money to me on our flips, etc. But one way or another, a lot of the people watching this video are gonna work with me. So again, if you wanna scale this thing super quick, check out that course, Unlimited Cash. Now the next thing that so many real estate investors mess up is risk management. Now you're probably gonna think I'm telling you that you should diversify. You should buy a bit here, a bit there, a bit in this city. No. I don't want you to diversify. I don't want you listening to your financial planner. 
again, at the start, I just want you to focus on one thing and in one area. I can't stress that enough. That's why I'm repeating it so much in this video. It is absolutely crucial to your success. If you're all in with real estate, I don't want you messing with stocks. I don't want you messing with crypto. I don't want you messing with anything else. Just focus on real estate for at least one year, please. That's all I want you reading on, watching videos on, and most importantly, acting on. And this is the Warren Buffett approach of put all of your eggs in one basket and watch the damn basket. Don't take your eyes off it. Now, if you wanna go against Warren Buffett, you're out of your mind. But, but again, this is the approach I took and it served me so friggin' well while I see so many real estate investors running around like a chicken with their head cut off, not knowing up from down, left from right, they don't know what they're doing. They're wasting valuable time. You don't have time to waste. And last but not least, leverage technology, leverage the internet. You can meet so many people on social media with online forums or Facebook groups, or like I said, most importantly, building your social media branding. There's not a whole lot of things I talk about that you gotta do over and over and over again, but one of the things I talk about in almost every single video is about building your social media branding. All the big real estate investing guys you see here on YouTube or social media, Greg Cardone, Ryan Pineda, Graham Stephan, all these guys are leveraging their social media, and why aren't you? I know you think that nobody wants to listen to you or who am I, who's gonna listen to me? Dude, it doesn't matter. The way humans work is that some people are gonna gravitate towards others versus others. There are some people that watch my videos that are like, I can't stand this guy, this guy's crazy, he talks too fast, no way. There's other people that watch my videos and they relate to exactly what I'm saying. So vice versa, same thing for you. You might be thinking, well, there's, there's so many real estate investing gurus on, the, on YouTube, why would I join? Because you're you. Some people are gonna gravitate to your beliefs on politics, on economics, which by the way, you should be talking about all over social media, by the way. Don't not talk about what you believe in. Those kind of things pull in the audience that gravitate to what you're thinking. If you're into dirt biking or jeeping, I don't know, whatever, rock climbing, talk about those things and you're gonna attract people who like to do rock climbing, but also care about their financial health, care about real estate investing. They're gonna align to you more than me. So anyway, guys, that's the video. These are the most common pitfalls that so many amateur real estate investors make. I hope you don't make them. If you like this video, if you learned anything, smash the subscribe button so you're in the know, you're getting my daily videos, and I will see you in the next video.